Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm here with my mother, Julie Andrews. And this is my daughter, Emma Walton Hamilton. And we're here today to talk to you about our latest book. It's called The First Notes, The Story of Do, Re, Mi. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> when you read, says the song, you begin with A, B, C. When, when you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. And those are the first words of a very famous song that you might know called Do, Re, Mi that was sung by Mum in a movie called The Sound of Music. The song teaches us the names of the notes that make up the musical scale, mm -hmm. also called the solfege. And those notes are Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. And whether you play them on a musical instrument or whether you sing them, they are the building blocks of how we learn music today. But there was a time when no one knew how to read or write music. Yes, I mean, the people in the old days, like the monks in the abbey and anybody that was interested in conveying music to someone else, had to just sing it or hum it, and the person that they were singing it to had to learn it that way. There was no written music. So this book was actually inspired by the very true story of one dedicated monk who lived a thousand years ago. In the 11th century. And he loved music so much that he wanted to come up with a new way of teaching it. And he changed the way we understand and teach and learn music today. He couldn't understand why, if you could read a book, why can't you read music somehow? And if you could write, why couldn't you write music somehow? Guido loved music so much that he wanted to find a way to teach it to others. He wanted to find a better way that people could actually read and write music the same way they read and wrote books and stories. Right. So he studied and he studied and he listened and he thought. And one day he noticed that a particular hymn he was singing might be helpful to him in his cause. And this book tells the story of how he, singing one favorite hymn, found the key to unlock how to teach music. Interestingly, not everybody was as excited about Guido's discovery as he was. And the monks at the abbey where he was living thought that he really shouldn't spend so much time thinking about things like music and, and inventing a musical scale. He should spend more time praying and studying and being respectful of the monastery's rules. And so <laughs> Guido had to leave the monastery and travel somewhere else to learn how to teach his new methodology. And he went quite far and taught some very interesting people, but you'll have to read the book to find out what happens next. Because it's quite an exciting tale. I have to confess that I never knew about how the solfege originated. And I discovered that a lot of people didn't know either. And it seems very important that we know how written music was created and how it began. So this is our book about Guido the monk and how he found his way and became very famous. We loved doing it. I we think. loved doing it. We loved researching it. We loved writing it. And we think it's just amazing that with creativity and patience and perseverance, and passion and belief yes i was going yeah, to say that one man one humble man changed the way we learn and teach music to this day we hope you enjoy the book as much as we loved writing it goodbye <laughs>